Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Granny Soul. Today we're going to be whacking up a term square pack here. Going through and pairing up the squares with a, um, I did find some blue batik I could throw in with it. It has all different designs in it. So, I'm so these are five inch squares. So you're going to cut them in any direction you want to and then you're going to insert this, the strip is what you're going to do. We're going to cut that. So now we're going to take those strips. And we are going to put, and I will meet you over at the sewing machine. First, it over and line it up with that side. And then we're going to go ahead and sew a quarter inch seam. And the, instead of grabbing this piece, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to chain stitch. We're going to grab another piece like this, or from this pile, and flip that over on that one. And we'll put that one on there. Press our seams open, or you can just fold them and crease them for now if you'd like. And then we'll flip the silver on this side and sew that one on. So I'll go ahead and get this one ironed up, and then I will meet you at the cutting board and show you how to square it up. I just iron both seams towards the dark blue. So if you can line up a line with the edge of your, your square, that is the best way to do it. Um, you can put the same stripe in it, or if you want to put a different color in it, that's totally fine. And like I said, your squares do not have to match up other than size when you're done. That one in there. So, um, get this one sewed up and ironed, and I'll meet you back here. Or, I, I think the four and a half inch would be fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and square it up with the four and a half inch. The whack and stack part is done. I'll frame it in with all white and then I'll connect it with another color. Uh, two and a half inch, we'll cut them. By the time you sew them with seam allowance, it'll be a two inch strip. So we'll have a two and a half inch, two and a half, and they'll be four and a half long. Both out. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut up some two and a half inch strips out of this. So these are 10 inch squares. So we're going to get four strips out of each one. This is some really pretty fabric. It's a free spirit layer cake. I really like this one. So we're just going to line up one on each side and we're going to flip them over and so a quarter inch seam on both of them. And you're looking at about eight and a half inches and these are ten. So we'll need these to be about eight and a half. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut these off a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides and I have a couple of these done and it's measuring eight and a half one way and like eight and a quarter the other so we'll trim those off a little over eight and a half that way and about eight and a half that way so I think that would be good you can just take that little bit of extra I'll do that to these and I'll get the other ones all sewn up okay so we got all the squares cut or ironed and then squared up eight and a half inches. So I did find some batik on the treat uh, strips here. So they said it'd be really nice to go one direction with the red and one direction with the blue. So, I, so we'll have a lot of squares, uh, way more than I thought I would end up with out of it. So it was two different turn packs in there. We have 42, eight and a half, which will be eight inch squares, which will make a seven by six. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a blanket, a quilt out of it instead of a table runner. With that plate, you want a little bit of a gap there so you can cut that apart. Go up and then I will meet you back at the cutting board. Let me have them sewed. We're just going to make sure they're laying nice and flat. Take our scissors and cut right in between those. I got all the red trim on one side of each one. Uh, the reason why I'm cutting it on one side is because when you connect these together, it will attach right to that one. Uh, we'll take a black and white photo. We'll make sure you got your light, medium, darks all equally distributed on the quilt. So I made a couple changes. Uh, I did get the other six or five rows complete. Um, however, I decided to put the a strip of the red on the top and the bottom of each row, and then the blue will go over top, of, or the multicolor will go over top. I think it's going to blend the multicolor fabric a little bit better. Sew it together with a quarter inch seam. So we'll just continue on sewing these pieces together as such. So the next one will... Okay, as you can see, we have all six of our rows sewed together with the red strips in between. 
We now need to get our strips ready. So we are going to use a multicolored on the outside edge. And we're going to use the blue on the side of each uh, row. Sew them together here with a quarter inch seam. We're going to press those open and then we'll attach them to our rows. This is my outside corner right here. So we want to start on this side, the inner side, because we are not putting this color strip on the outside. And we'll just work our way down. So when we fold this back, we want to make sure that this line is lined up. Put To get the first one in, I just put a pin there and make sure it's going through right at that seam on both pieces. There we go. Okay, so we got this all sewed up together. So this is row six, this is five. So as you can see, they lined up fairly well up until here. Stand across the room and glance over at it for 30 seconds. If you don't notice it, it's not, it's not a big deal. So we're gonna try putting it on a chair and stand it across the room and see if we can notice that. Our in, inner part of the full top is finished. We do have to put the outside strip on. We do have one end done. So we're doing the ends first. Because that way when it's unfolded like that, then we can get a true idea of how long we need the sides. I will get this ironed up. I'll pin the start on there and then we'll come back and we'll sew the sides. Get the last side on. As you can see, we have the sides on. It is ironed, but it will make a very, very lovely 4th of July throw quilt. Well, thanks for joining Soul Journey Sew in this three-day long adventure. <laughs> uh, and you guys have a great night. Make sure to hit that like button if you found this helpful. Bye, all.